Today, I got something completely different for you. Because Double Tap Ammunition sent me some ammo to test in their 454 Casul chambering. And so I've got the Raging Judge Magnum here, and I thought, well, let's go test some 454 Casul ammo and see what develops. Well, here's the thing. They sent me a few different types, and I was looking at this one in particular. This says it is a 400 grain bullet. You know, 454 Casul, I'm used to 240 to 300 grains in that range. This is 400 grains. And they say that 400 grains will travel at 1400 feet per second. And I was just thinking about that, and I'm thinking, you know, that doesn't actually sound like a handgun bullet. I know something else that sounds a lot like that. 12 gauge shotgun slug. You know, if you look at the numbers on a 12 gauge shotgun slug, we're talking about an ounce of lead, which is 438 grains versus 400, so about 90% the same. And the shotgun slug, they, they're rated at 1,560 feet per second, quite a bit more than the 1,400. But I'll bet you dimes to donuts that 1,560 feet per second was uh, taken from a longer barrel, probably you know, a 28 or 30 inch barrel long shotgun. I got here the 18 and a half inch Remington 870. So my question is, will we get that kind of velocity out of this? And how close will a handgun come to the gold standard of just overwhelming destruction, the 12 gauge shotgun slug? So let's go find out. We're gonna put the little handgun, and I, look, the cartridges are very different. I don't expect the Raging Judge to, to match up to the 12 gauge shotgun, but the numbers aren't nearly as different as the cartridges are, so uh, there's only really one way to find out. That's to go do it. I'm showing this white shot. I know you can't really see anything in it, but I just had to give you the scope of just how far this bullet penetrated. 45 inches. I had to lay three blocks end to end, and it nearly over penetrated the last block. We got 45 inches of penetration out of this bullet. And here's the first 16 inches from the double tap 400 grain hard cast double tap hunter bullet. With this hard cast bullet, it stayed the same. So, so the entire 16 inch damage track looks like this. And this, if you look at this in isolation, this is a nasty damage track. I mean, I'm just gonna slice it here anywhere, doesn't matter because the damage is all the same. If you look at how much damage is in there, this, this is a deadly, deadly round. Edge to edge, this round is doing an inch and a half worth of destruction through this gel block. Shotgun slug <laughs> is just in a totally different league. Now, it didn't penetrate nearly as far as the hard cast 454 Casul did. Uh, it stopped at about 20 and a half inches. But the reason it didn't penetrate nearly as far is because it did a tremendous amount more damage up in the shallower section. It, I mean, you could see in the slow mo, you could see how, uh, how incredibly it stretched out the gel when it hit. This is nothing like what we saw before. The shotgun was in a totally different league than the bullet we just tested. This is just tremendous. There's a gigantic permanent cavity stretched so far and did so much damage that you can see there's just a huge permanent cavity of, of destruction here. And it extends up to around 10 inches where it continues to be gigantic. Now, after that, the bullet settles down and it just cuts a uh, well, a great big hole. It's still cutting a great big hole. You gotta remember that slug is is around three quarters of an inch in diameter. So this, this represents why a shotgun slug is just one of the most devastating projectiles you can launch at somebody if you had to, had to do it in self-defense or, or if you're up against something like a bear. Uh, this is why a 12 gauge slug is a pretty good choice. Edge to edge, you can see that it cut through the entire block so this, I didn't cut this. That's a result, the fact that it cut all the way through both sides is a result of the damage that the slug itself did. So that's, all this is completely permanent damage that was done. Looks like about five inches horizontally. 
and four and three quarters vertically. So all this is is shredded. I mean, ballistic gel is a simulant of human flesh, and this is representing what kind of damage you can expect to see happening inside whatever it is that you had to shoot with this slug. So the slug, the, we can say that the, the double tap, the hard cast bullet did penetrate very deeply and it did do a lot of damage for a, a non-expanding bullet, but it's just not in the same class or league as what this slug is. So then I thought, well, let's try something that might be. What if we take, I've got double tap also sent me some hollow point hunting bullets or defense bullets. This is using a 250 grain Barnes TAC XP bullet. It's a hollow point. It'll expand. Maybe it'll expand up like the as, to be as big as the shotgun slug is. And the velocity is rated to be quite a bit higher. These things are rated at 1850 feet per second. So it's a lighter bullet at a faster speed versus the slug, which was a slower speed but a heavier bullet. So maybe this will be more comparable to what the shotgun did because we can say that the hard cast bullet that's got its uses but it's not like a shotgun slug and i want to find something that's like a shotgun slug so let's give this a shot all right this is much more like it we can see that the barnes bullet stopped at 21 and a half inches which is pretty much identical to what the shotgun slug did. And you can see a tremendous amount of damage here in the first block. The, the permanent damage cavity is huge, very similar to what the shotgun did. Definitely this is a better type of bullet to compare. You can see that this massive initial cavity continued up to almost 11 inches. 11 inches of continual huge damage. That's impressive. But let's go ahead and get a cross section here at about the biggest point. Let's see what the damage looks like close up. That's that right there would hurt. That's the kind of damage that puts big predators or determined attackers down. We're showing about four and a half inches in diameter of this damage cavity. Four and a half inches of continuous destruction. Let's go ahead and get an actual cross section of that. It may not be absolutely exactly like the shotgun slug, but this uh, Barnes bullet from the double tap cartridge, uh, it's in the ballpark. It's definitely very similar to the damage that the shotgun did. So here's the recover bullets, and you can see that the hard cast double tap is just not in any way the same type of bullet as the slug, and so I shouldn't have been comparing it in the first place. It's not an appropriate comparison. However, it's what inspired me to do this was the fact that this weighed almost the same as the slug did, but it doesn't expand. It's a big, huge, heavy bullet, but it doesn't grow to larger diameter. The slug is already a gigantic diameter, being a, a 12 gauge, and it expands just a little bit. It smashes flat. This is just a piece of plastic that was part of the, I guess, the wadding system or whatever, but, and this is just a piece that of the base that fell off. So really that's what we're looking at. And you can see, it's obvious why this one penetrated well over double what this one did. It's a, a sm such smaller diameter. Whereas this is just gigantic. So then I brought in the third bullet and let's take a look at that. There's the Barnes hollow point. And now, you know, let's just get this out of the way because that's not really a fair comparison. That you can see, that's about the same size, the same diameter. We had very comparable impact energy. We had comparable damage cavity sizes. So these head to head were pretty similar. Okay, there it is. I gotta say, I am impressed. I'm impressed with all three of them. Uh, the shotgun slug, 
is exactly what you expect it to be. This was just an absolute horrifying wounder. It was fantastic, devastating, and totally destructive. But I gotta say, uh, the double tap with the 250 grain Barnes bullet, I really doubt if, you know, if someone was doing an autopsy and they were dealing with a wound from the slug or from this, I don't know if they'd be able to tell the difference. The impact energy was very comparable. The uh, temporary cavity size was very comparable. The total damage cavity done was very comparable. And the overall penetration was very comparable. So uh, heresy and blasphemy, as people may want to say, yes, I think this is on par, a match, a, a decent match for a 12 gauge shotgun slug. It's certainly not the, not a, the huge disparity that I was expecting. It actually came pretty darn close. And this thing was not in any way like the shotgun slug that I tested. What this did do is it penetrated huge, penetrated 45 inches, uh, you know, 21 to 23 inches for the slugs over here. That's, that's good. And that will bring down a lot of game or, you know, certainly a human. But if you're facing against something that's big, you know, like a, a polar bear or a moose or maybe a giant Japanese robot, this is the kind of thing that you want to have in your gun. So really impressed with both of them. They both did really well. All three of them did really well. Uh, the, to answer the question, can a handgun, can a raging judge match a 12 gauge shotgun slug? Pretty much, yeah. Never would have thought it, but yeah, it's fantastic. Okay, thank you very much for watching and hit subscribe. And if you liked what you saw, hit the like button. And if you subscribe, you'll be notified when my next video is posted.